Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Mr. Din Hui Ban, who is Chief of Enterprise Application Center for the Office of Information and Communication Technology of the United Nations. Mr. Ban, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about digital transformation. It's the theme of, uh, uh, of this year's uh, uh, Telecom World, Smart Digital Transformation. What does that mean to you? Um, when I hear smart digital transformation, I think of how the United Nations can apply digital technologies to make the life of the people better. Uh, in this ITU 2017 event, we talk about um, Internet 5G, uh, we talk about smart tourism, uh, intelligent transport, um, ICT for civic engagement. I think those are examples of smart digital transformation as I can see today. Now obviously all of these bring lots of opportunities but lots of challenges as well. What about the Asia Pacific region uh, specifically? What, uh, what challenges do you see here? Well. Asia Pacific is a very, uh, it has a very diverse landscape uh, with over 4.5 billion people. Uh, it's home for nearly 60% of the, the world's population. Uh, it has uh, ten, uh, seven out of 10 most populous countries in, in the world, uh, but also some of the smallest nation islands in the Pacific. Now the digital landscape is also also very diverse in the region. Um, the digital transformation speed is not at the same speed and um, uh, some countries are focusing uh, more on catching up with digital infrastructure. Uh, all the countries have passed that stage and they invest more you know, in transformation in areas such as e-government, uh, public safety, healthcare, environment. Uh, so one of the challenges that I see in the region is the digital development is not equal in many countries. Infrastructure development uh, often goes to large cities and not enough to remote areas. So I think um, uh, governments need to step in in order to reduce this digital divide and allow a more equal digital development uh, with incentive for companies, private sectors, to invest more in less populous areas. And how are you working with ICT to support the United Nations in the region? So, the, um, um, under the guidance of Ms. Atefe Riyati, the Assistant Secretary General of ICT, uh, we, the Office of Information on Communication Technology, provides solutions um, to support the United Nations mandates in sustainable development, peace and security, uh, humanitarian aid, human rights and international law. More specifically in the region, we um, are working closely with UN sister agencies uh, in the areas of urban development, education, uh, disaster reduction. We provide ICT solutions to, uh, for smart cities. Uh, for um, remote learning, uh, for early disaster warning. A large component of our portfolio also includes ICT solutions in support of peacekeeping operations. Um, now, the United Nations peacekeeping force is 100,000 troops, and many of them come from this region of the world. Uh, yeah. And in terms of the attendance here at uh, ITU Telecom World, why do you think it's important to be here? Uh, well, the, yeah, well, the biggest takeaway for me, uh, for us, the, the United Nations team here, um, is we could see the evidence uh, that the digital transformation of our life is accelerating. Um, now, the ITU event itself is a, a, an opportunity for us, for the United Nations, to share our experience, uh, but also to learn from other experience, um, and uh, an opportunity of networking as well with companies uh, in the private sector and with other organizations that share the same goals of applying digital technologies uh, to improve the life of the people. And have you got a key message for participants here? Uh, come back next year. <laughs>
<laughs> so we will be there. We will try to be there. I think it's in South Africa, Durban. Uh, it's a bit far for us, but uh, we try. We attended last year as an um, exhibitor, and we come this year again. So next year, we try to come back again. Well, we look forward to having you, and thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Thank you.